speaking of take backs, Kevin Durant and the Nets have agreed to continue their partnership after a meeting that took place on Monday between him, his reps, and you know the Brooklyn ownership and front office, and you know all the top guys there. So mm -hmm. he has to look Sean Parks and Steve Nash in their face. Everybody, sit down. Let's talk this <laughs> up. <laughs> What's your beef? What's your malfunction, Big Taylor? All that for nothing. For nothing. I mean, to be fair, <clears throat> who we being fair to? Right. The situation. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want to hear this. I am fine with the fact that he's staying there. Granted, we all wanted a little bit of uh, fireworks, just for the hell of it. Uh, I am actually happy that he's him and Kyrie. And then they turned around and posted a video of him and Kyrie in the lab cooking already. What? What you mean, like they, practicing? Yeah, they was just playing some pickup game against Trey Young and some food. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm actually happy that they're there because I, I do want to see how it works out for Brooklyn with them there. I really do. Like, I feel like everybody's really underappreciating what's up with Ben Simmons, like what he brings to the table, even though he hasn't played in what, two years now? About two seasons? Yeah, because he played in the last year's playoffs. Yeah. So June of last year. Did he play? Ooh, what playoff? Remember, Remember he, he passed up the duck? That one last year? It was 2021. Was that not last year? Yeah, the year the Bucks won championship, 2021. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> You know we had like three seasons in two years. We didn't say last season. We said last year. Yeah. Yeah, y'all talking years. I'm talking seasons. <laughs> well, anyways, catch up. Anyways. Listen to the words coming out my um, mouth. I am. I'm cool with what we would see from Brooklyn. Like I'm really curious to see how that team will pan out and things like that. Because as much as the fireworks would have been great, a team that is a contender, so to speak, in the East, only gonna make our run even better. I mean, I mean, so let me, there's a couple things I want to respond to. First, the situation at hand, uh, the Nets won here. I wanted to make that very clear. The Nets won the situation because they were letting the players run the show. It went off the rails. <laughs> and then they said, you know what? We want this. We want control back. And then that's when KD and Kyrie was like, we out of here. And where are they? Still where they were. <laughs> before the Nets ownership was able to take control back and have some semblance of a more traditionally ran uh, team. So the Nets won that. I want to say that. And also, from a just basketball standpoint, like you mentioned, some people really wanted the fireworks and it's fun to think about trades and everything. But like this Nets team, I'm curious to see what they look like healthy because I want to see how Ben Simmons fits in with them. I'm curious to see what their starting five is going to be because I would assume Nick Claxton would start at center. Mm-hmm. And then that means, is it Joe Harris or is it uh, Seth Curry that you're going to start? Probably Joe Harris. Probably Joe. Give him a little size. So then you're running out <laughs> a lineup of Kyrie Irving, Joe Harris, Kevin Durant, Ben Simmons, and Nick Claxton. And then off the bench, you got Patty Mills, Seth Curry, uh, Cam Thomas, TJ Warren, they Royce O'Neal. Royce probably start. Over Joe? I can they see they that. traded the first fool. He might. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, I would I, imagine. I don't, I'm at a point where I'm not really scared of any teams as a Bucks fan. Like I'm just kind of like, well, lace them up and let's go. Like let's see what, what you got. And that's just bring the smoke. I want the smoke. Because if you got Royce starting there, then you got Claxton and Royce O'Neal with Ben. I don't think that you guys should be pinning in Nick Claxton. Like if anything, I think they would start small because they had uh, they were starting. Uh, what's his name? Like Griffin <laughs> at center. Like he still got some size though like i some, mean ben some simmons is needle. literally the same size as like Griffin. no not like weight wise height wise yeah but they're the same size. like go look at their like they're probably both around 230 240. <laughs> like blake just play like a big and ben simmons don't but like they're pretty much spider-man means i say the eye test looks like blake griffin got a little more blake's listed weight is 250. he's 6'9 and that two inches make a difference well, ben, ben Simmons, Simmons is, is taller, taller than him. Right. That's again the oh, two oh, inches makes a yeah, difference. No, no, no. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. That's what she said. And Ben Simmons is six eleven, two forty. So that's why. That's why because it's short. Yeah, you're right about that. Yeah, because that's only then. No, he got a little more meat on him. Simmons just <laughs> a little taller. She said. <laughs> <laughs> well, but that being said, like I don't think they would expect. I don't shit. Ben Simmons ain't never really been expected. To I don't it. think 
play the post. I don't know if Ben Simmons would want to play. I think it's a, a want thing. Like I could see them running Ben Simmons at center lineups like throughout the game, but I'm not sure if they would start with that. Like just as a here, he need to breathe it for a second type shit. No, just like a different, like just a different look more than anything. Like just let's try to get our maybe like a their death lineup is their best five players that game, which will probably include Ben Simmons, KD, Kyrie. <sighs> <laughs> Joe Harris, Royce O'Neal. Like, I'm See? not. That's why I said that game. Depending right. on how the game flow goes, but I know for sure you're going to get KD, Kyrie, and Ben Simmons out there. Hmm. I'm curious to see how TJ Warren looks this year, too. He's like 6'9, ain't he? I don't know how tall he is, but I just know he's been hurt. <laughs> yeah. We'll see if that bubble form come back. I doubt we'll ever see that come back. That was a that was that a, shit was wild, bro. He put the forty two points. He's six eight, by the way. They could put out some pretty some pretty like big lineup. Yeah, but I mean he, he's six eight, but he's he kind of thin. <laughs> I get, like aside from B, like what size are you? I mean, John is obviously, but like nobody can guard him, and nobody can guard your R and B. Like I don't think you really got. So for most teams, it won't be a problem to play that small. For most, again, you go up against Philly. <laughs> It's going to be a problem. Mm -hmm. You go up against the Bucks. It's I mean, going shit, to be a you problem. You start Nick Claxton. You go be a you go be in trouble too. That's a fact. He ain't no rim protector like that. But he tries. He tries. He tries really hard. I appreciate the effort. What, who knows? He That's might take. A, he might take said. a leap. He might take a leap this year. You go. <laughs> also, I'm about Nick, meeting inches and trying. Also, on. Nick Claxton is thin. You want to talk mm -hmm. about skinny? Like is he even two hundred? Two fifteen. Six eleven. Might be better off putting Ben Simmons up there. <laughs> but again, Yikes, it's more bro. so for me. I don't know if Ben Simmons will want. Defense is more of an effort thing, honestly. Like, you can have the physical tools to do it, but if you don't want to play defense. Wait, who are you talking about, like, not wanting to play defense? I'm not the, talking about Ben. No, 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 no. I'm not <laughs> talking about Ben. Like, like, I'm just saying, like, even all aspects of defense is a want. You should have that general. Yeah, because, like, if you. Moment. Most people know, and he, you've been tall most of your life. You know, for at one point in time, you were center. Because <laughs> you're the tallest motherfucker out there. there was, or close to being no, the big. Mind. I'm not going to do that on the air. Because everybody's going to know who I'm talking about. I'm not even <laughs> but gonna say. for the most part, as you're growing and people have been taller, like they typically pinned you at center, even though you may grow enough to be a point guard, two guard, three, whatever. So no matter where you're placed, at some point in time, the with the defense that you play comes down to the effort and the willpower that you want to exert. If he has to play the five, even though we don't want Ben Simmons playing the five possibly, but they he say he can guard all five positions because of his size, it comes down to a want to actually just a. Hey, I don't give a shit if you playing me at center, bro. Like because this the mentality that a lot of these bigs that don't want to be centers thinking, oh man, you putting me at center, Anthony Davis and shit like that. KD don't want to be labeled as a big because he's seven feet. You big as shit. <laughs> like at some point in time, we expect you to be by the damn rim. It's all about just effort. Well, I mean, like, I guess it, at the end of the day, like it depends on. Like you ain't got to call him a center. Like even if he's the biggest player on the court, like fucking Bruce Brown was a center for the most part. Like during their playoff run, like it don't really, it doesn't really matter. Like they kind of position with like Kevin Durant is also seven feet. Like they have size across the board. Joe Joe Harris is bigger than you would imagine. Like Six, than eight. you would think he is. Mm -hmm. um, Damn, he's six eight. Yeah. Yes. Shit. So again, that's like, why they got a bunch of big dudes over there, but like none of them are like rim for like they don't have like a true rim for center. Thing. But they got some dudes besides. So backtrack because like we got into the weeds like before. <laughs> backtrack in. Nest management has won for now. Like, oh yeah, for sure. This, this is this, not yeah, sure. <laughs> like looking at you know who they have on their roster. Like. This is not gonna hold for the duration of the season. Like somebody gonna get upset, somebody gonna get, you know, moody, somebody's gonna be not happy with what position they're being played at or whatever. Like you can try to take back control, but like at the end of the day, like the league is run by the players. Like, no, Kevin Durant's not gonna sit out, but Kyrie can definitely make a situation <laughs> uncomfortable. <laughs> Again, ben Simmons is already proven like he can get his way like he's he's resolute in his uh his willpower so and then that's not even taking into consideration you know cam thomas showing up his coach in an interview <laughs> like if you have like somebody that low on the totem pole like feeling that empowered like you have problems way deeper than right. just you know get my guy a contract extension 
And honestly, I think the Nets are just looking at this as a one year, let's see what we can do here because Kyrie's on the contract after this mm-hmm. year. Like, of course, they could extend them, but who, again, Kyrie is so wishy. You, you don't know how that's going to go. Is he missing in trade? Could, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. But that's like, I feel like this year for the Nets <clears> is just like, let's, one more, look, one more go. Let's saddle this up and see what we can, what we can do when we're fully healthy with Ben Simmons in tow as well. That's honestly what I thought about them when I seen the news right away. I was like, oh, they like, oh, just give us one year, bro. Just one. One. You, you got four new ones. Just give us one of those. <laughs> <laughs> give us the first one. That's it's the new money. Thing. You got the new money. Give us the new money. You know, and then, you know, we'll go out of there. But I'm, I'm, I want to see them play. I'm looking forward to it. But <clears throat> Kevin Durant got a. Like, I'm not going to talk about like what he should or shouldn't do, but I feel like he's gotten bad advice a bunch of different times in his career like every time he's basically had the opportunity to make a decision Mm -hmm. he's gone the opposite way (laughs) where he should have gone like if you play out kevin durant's career a hundred times like this gotta be like one of the worst possible aside from injuries like this gotta be one of the worst possible outcomes for his legacy quote unquote yeah like leaving okc that's fine i don't have no problem with that Going to the 73 win Warriors. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't the best. Uh, not the best look. <laughs> like, you know. After they beat you, too. Was... Right. Like, <laughs> when y'all was up. <laughs> like, you got to look at the optics, fam. Like, like hey, yeah. you know, do what makes you happy, but take it against it. Like, because of like the way it played out, like, every it, it wasn't what he thought it was going to be because he didn't get the credit for it, which everybody could see going in. Like, the same you know, what you're thinking it, is, bro. You joining the team that. Won a title and won, you know, set the record for most wins in a season in back to back seasons. Like, they don't need the second best player in the league or, where, you know, wherever you put Kevin Durant. Like, they, they he don't came need in to turn them unbeatable, bro. It was, it was, it was, Woo, the motherfuckers was menaces. Leaving Golden State, he hitches his wagon to Kyrie Irving. Like, of all the superstars for you to team up with, like, I know he's your guy, but he can still be your guy and y'all play on opposite teams. Like, not the look. And he was in Boston at the time. Who? Kyrie. Kyrie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Back then. I mean, like, the way that he got himself out of Boston. Then you pick up, then you, okay, Dwight, uh, not Dwight, DeAndre uh, Jordan. That was terrible from the start. Hey, like, he y'all, y'all want to play GM. He got paid. Like, again, you, you choose DeAndre Jordan. Like, of all they the players that you choose. Jared could, Allen. Think that, about it. So that's, that's part of why Kenny Axe got fired because he wanted to keep playing Jared Allen. And Jared Allen and Karis LeVert, bro, like, <laughs> y'all got rid of him. Because KD and Kyrie said, no, DeAndre Jordan is Jared our center. Allen, bro, I liked him on the Nets. Now he an all star, bro. I, yes. Again, like, getting James Harden defensible, like, on the surface, like, yes. former MVP, great player, top, top 10, top five player at the time. I get it. But at the same time, you have to look at, what does it work <laughs> given the people that we have here that's what everybody and said y'all you know as much as y'all try to walk away from it now y'all advocated for them hiring steve nash when you yep. could have had like an actual professional co- you had kenny you Atkinson had, on exactly the, on the, on the, on the, you already had a good coach like and now and, and then when he like coach. last year after whatever you went through that year you then signed a four-year contract extension with no guarantees that the other two dudes that you are that you brought to town that you want to play with are locked in like there's no way that you sign that first unless you know that's what they need to feel comfortable signing that contract and it's a four-year full boat max no player options no type of so like then you stuck and now this year you whatever was left of your reputation like you lit on fire because like now you look like you're trying to Hop to another team mm-hmm. again. You know, hop to another super team or whatever. And all of them contenders. And it's like you had no le- like I said it when the trade request came along. Like you have no leverage here. Like you can't like aside from we just don't want to piss off a great player. Like you don't have any recourse to get to where you want to go. Teams don't have enough to give to the Nets to make it worth their while to be like oh you know not to blink. I guess mm-hmm. like, like if you're bear. playing chicken with them like. Oh well, we we'll just cut our losses and we'll take whatever. It's like, like no, no like, unless whatever is like Zion Williamson. <laughs> like, <laughs> who's playing in the opener? By the way, I mean for now. I would assume. Oh, oh damn! Come on, bro. he'll be there. 
I mean, he got see injured boy in training Nolan. camp his rookie year. Like, show up and see your boy in Dallas. <laughs> I mean, I hope he's you know. But no, that's a that's a great point because again, that's part of why I was like KD and them. Like, this is a mess that y'all created, and now y'all want to run from it. Like, y'all y'all are the reason that the Nets are in. It. Like, y'all have full reign. Full reign, like, and you could fault ownership for giving them that reign, but they were trying to appease their superstar and it did not work out for them. So here we are. And no matter what y'all say, Sean Marks is a cold GM to get him them whoever and whatever they've been wanting. I mean, the fact that they were able to roll out KD, Kyrie, Harden for oh. as many concerns as we had, like that's literally like three of the best players in the NBA. And still had a halfway okay, decent bench. <laughs> I just want to say halfway okay. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. You being nice. I feel it.